just awesome to do. I uh, relaxed a little bit. Uh, my cousin was in town, so we went to uh, Eastside Catholic, watched them play against Garfield and Memorial Stadium. So that was pretty cool. Uh, went to go chill, had game night in my house. Then Saturday, went, went to go eat in bed. Usually went to watch Joker play, watch Joker. So I thought that was pretty good. And then Sunday, went to the Rotary Club, saw some kids try out for the AAU team. So, it's really different. Are we talking community? It sounds like you're, you know, you're a rotary. I mean, that's something you're... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, one of the guys that I'm cool with that's from here, Ryan Phillips, uh, he has two kids, and so they're part of the rotary club, and I used to go watch them, especially in the offseason, just play basketball, because that's one of the things I used to love to do. I play A U basketball. So I would go watch them, and around this time, they have a tryout to see who makes the A team and makes the B team. So kind of just being able to go there and be around kids and kind of be around the same stuff that I grew up with. Why did you pick that football team? Uh, well, I always wanted to be able to go see G. Scott Jr. play. Uh, I know G. Scott always talks to me about trying to come out to a game. And the last time I went was like four years ago. So I tried to find a way to be able to go out there and uh, found out that they played in the Memorial Stadium. So it's got to be cool to try to go to a game. What's game night at your house until? Uh, just different games. Uh, I mean, we had Taboo. Uh, I think the game we played the other night was, um, I forgot. I forgot what it was, but it's more of like, who's the best person that resembles this? So when they said, when it was certain questions, like one of them said, who talks about themselves the most? And everybody picked me. Like, I don't even talk about myself unless y'all ask me questions. <laughs> but it was just different stuff. Like, you know, kind of like, some funny, some like kind of intimidating type questions, but it was just kind of fun to see people's perspective of other people laughing and joking around. The movie review without giving out, without spoiling it. Joking. What's the movie review? Uh, I thought it was different. Um, it's a lot of different perspectives that people could take away from that. Uh, for me, I didn't really know what it was going to be like going into it. I didn't really know what the preview was about. So once I kind of understood everything that it was talking about at the end, it kind of made sense, like, this is all the events that happened that led him to this moment. And, like, for me, or just anybody in general, like, the people that we become in the future is kind of destined from what happened in the past. And so when you look at that, you have people who are driven by their past in a good way, and other people are driven by their past in a bad way. And it's really about how you deal with those triggers that happened in your past and going to determine what your future is going to look like. Probably.